Right, and get some bog roll, will you? We're nearly out. Uh, yeah, OK. Something happened between you two? You know, uh, when I was babysitting last night? Well, uh, he came round looking for Kev and uh, ended up staying. I see. Turns out he's been missing me like mad. <laughs> so it's back on then, is it? Well, not yet, no, but uh, soon will be. What's up? I thought you'd be pleased for me. Well, I am, yeah. I just don't want you to rush into things, that's all. Oh, we've been apart for months. I'd hardly call it rushing into things. Oh, be pleased for me, Mum. Just make sure it's what you want, that's all. It is. Oh, and to be honest, I won't be surprised if Candice gets the elbow soon and I'm taking on permanent. You won't be if you keep this up, will you? Right, OK, I'm gone. See you later. All right, see, see ya. You. So what are you doing here? I just came to see Sarah. Nice to see her so upbeat. She's getting there, gradually. Good. I, uh, I bumped into Katie last night. Hope you put her straight. Well, I did, yeah, but... I want easy. Mm. Throw a tantrum, did she? I meant for me. You're not getting back with her. Martin, you can't be serious. Not after everything that's happened. We've been through this. And anyway, I think she's learned a lesson by now, don't you? It's not what she did, Martin. It's what it demonstrates. She's a child. What? What did you two find to talk about, anyway? Latest bands? Uh, if I wanted to talk politics with her, she could run rings around me, actually. And anyway, we didn't go in for deep discussions. We just had lots of laughs and did daft things, you know, like going to bed in the afternoon. And generally having fun. And I tell you what, it felt great. Suppose it would. You were searching for your lost youth. Yeah, well, maybe a few more of us could do with finding that, eh? It's not a crime to enjoy life, Gail. You should try it sometime. Well, if I didn't have a fragile daughter to look after, maybe I would. Fragile? Oh, come on, you said yourself she's on the mend. I said she's getting there. There are still nights when she wakes me up with a sobbing. Or when I come across her staring at a picture of Billy. I didn't realise. No. Well, you wouldn't, would you? You just see the smile she puts on when you decide to pop in. I'm the one who has to pick up the pieces when she's fallen apart. And I better get ready, am I? Because this is really going to knock her feet from under her. Give me uh, another driving lesson tonight, could you? I've only got a couple of weeks to my test. Oh, I don't know. Oh, go on, please. Oh, it could be difficult. Why? I think I've run out of Valium. Oh, <laughs> you wait. I will pass first time. Oh, go on then. Come over after I've finished work and we'll do it before tea. Yeah, you Mwah. are the best dad ever. <laughs> She's in a really good mood today. Maybe it's that few extra quid from babysitting, eh? Uh, maybe. Oh, Martin, it's Katie again. Will you please ring me? Dana see you. Oh, just coming to see you. Didn't you get my messages? I did, yeah. So why didn't you ring? Well, I didn't see the point. I said what I had to say last night. But you didn't mean it. I thought you were just saying that. I thought... Yeah, the... well, maybe you should try listening instead. Martin! I can't bear it! I've been thinking about you all day. About seeing you again. About moving back in together. About last night. That was nearly kissing. Look. Look. Last night should not have happened, OK? Yes, it should. It should have happened weeks ago and you know it. Come here. Come here. Get Come here. Look. I just want to touch you. All the time I want to touch you. And you feel the same. The way you looked at me, the things that you said. You know, I love you. Oh, well, there you go, then. But it can't work. If it was against us, your family, and now it's Sarah. Do you think it didn't hurt when my dad stopped speaking to me? Yeah. Or when my mum wasn't allowed to? Or my brother gave me dirty looks in the street? Yeah, it hurt, all right. But I did it anyway. I gave up my entire family for you. And here you are, worried that your daughter will get in a sock. 
You know, if you really love me, you won't even have to think about it. No, look, I need to talk to you. Yeah, well, I'm not interested. Because I know what you want. You want us to talk it over like two civilised people. You want to try and get me to accept that you have got responsibilities, because then you won't need to feel guilty anymore. You know, I even know the exit line. It'll be, uh, well, I hope we can stay friends. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, Martin, but there's no... Why me? Yeah. Look, I am sick of the talking. I'm sick of listening to other people. I'm sick of trying to convince myself it shouldn't happen. I want you. Yeah. And you're right. It's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that for you. Thank you. Oh, you know, I hated this place without you in it. Mm -hmm. Everywhere I looked, there was something there to remind me that you weren't here. What, like the uh, blue top I left in the bathroom? Yeah. And uh, the eyeshadow on the bed. Oh, and uh, the badly drawn by CD. You've got a remarkably good memory. Yeah, well, I left him here on purpose, didn't I? Wasn't having you forget about me. Oh. Yeah. Well, it works anyway. Mm -hmm. mm. I thought I'd blown it, you know. I thought I'd lost you forever. No. I was the one that nearly blew it. They're not going to like it, though, are they? The family. Well, they're not going to be over the moon, no. Well, I'll just have to get used to it, won't I? <laughs> and so will they. Oh. Speaking of which, this will be our David. Hello? It's your dad. Oh, sugar me driving lesson. Uh, oh, let him up. <laughs> Go on. Uh, yeah, all right, Tom. Come up. Oh, that's it. We're at the flaming roof now. No, he won't. He'll be cool about it, honest. He's changed. Yeah, right. Sorry, Dad, I completely forgot all about it. What? My driving lesson. Your driving lesson? I don't give a toss about your driving lesson. What are you doing here with him? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? We're back together. Oh, are you? Yes, sir, we sorted everything out. So, uh, you mess her around for months, then just snap your fingers and she comes running. Is that it? Dad! I told you this had happened. You said you'd be happy if we got back together. I never said I'd be happy. No, you said you would rather me be with him than miserable. Oh, were you lying all along? Trying to keep me on your side, trying to make me think that you cared about me. I do care about you, and if you, you don't... You were lying, weren't you? No. I want you to be happy. Of course I do. But how can you be with him? He's already let you down, hasn't he? No, I let him down, actually, by behaving like a stupid kid. You're allowed to. You are a kid. And if he's going to pull you every time you act like one, then maybe he's better off finding someone his own age. Well, you'd love that, wouldn't you? Look... You don't have to come back straight away. Just see each other, see how things go for a bit. I don't need to. I want to be with Martin. Just come home, eh? What's up, Tom? We're in our ideas, mate. Oh, I've still got one or two things in mind. <laughs> I'm sure you have. Dad. Don't push me. Cos I'm telling you, it won't take much. Well, go on, then. Hit me. I know you're dying to. Don't! Well, come on, what's stopping you? I've done it before, you can do it again. Where have we finally realised that it's not going to get you anywhere? You're not going to split us up, no matter how hard you try. Hmm? Yeah. Right. Come on. I want you out of here now. We don't want you around here anymore, all right? You think you've won, don't you? Well, you haven't. You've just rubbed out the choke line, that's all. And you're gonna regret that. Cos one day, I'm gonna get you plat. You can be sure of that. Oh, yeah. And how are you gonna do that, Tom? Hey. I'm gonna kill you. That's how. <laughs> 